Hi friends, uh, this is another type of problem in trigonometric ratios of complementary angle. So uh, here the question is like this, cos 40 minus theta minus sin 50 plus theta plus cos square 40 plus cos square 50 whole divided by sin square 50 plus cos square 40. Okay. So in this type of problem, see what we are uh, looking same, see cos square 50, sin square 50, cos square 40, sin square 40. Again here, cos 40 minus theta, sin 50 plus theta. So there is you know some relationships here uh, in complementary form so what uh, we have to do in such type of question we have to convert either this whole cos into sine or sine into the cos that's our key okay so here I'm going to change uh, cos into the sine rather than changing uh, sine into cos I can do also like that if you want there is no problem but let me do first okay so uh, let me write this cos 40 minus theta like uh, 90 minus 50 plus theta okay why I'm writing like this uh, let me show you here in the side okay uh, 90 minus 50 right so see here uh, 90 minus 50 plus theta is 90 minus 50 plus so uh, sorry minus plus it will be minus right so it will be minus theta so 90 minus 50 it will be 40 minus theta so 90 minus 50 plus theta as a whole I can write like this 40 minus theta that is why I have write here cos 40 minus theta like this okay so minus sine 50 plus theta I am writing this as it is okay and the next one is cos square 40 plus cos square 50 so again I have to change these all right into sine form so cos square 40 I can write like this cos uh, sorry it's 90 minus cos 90 minus 50 because 90 minus 50 is 40 but it, as it is cos square so let me give you a square also another one cos square 50 right so to cos square 50 again I can write cos 90 minus 40 uh, I'm sorry you might not be feeling this is 40 okay this is 40 90 degree minus 40 since it is a square so let me do a square and now whole divided by sine square 50 plus sine square 40 we have to change only one form okay now we have changed this cost this cost and this cost so now in next step it will be converted into another form into the sine form okay so now we know the formula that cos 90 minus theta is equals to sine theta right now applying this formula over here or this relationship over here cos 90 minus theta here 50 plus theta will work as a single theta right so cos 90 minus 50 plus theta will be equals to sine 50 plus theta right so here sine 50 uh, plus theta I'm writing as it is here right uh, sine 50 plus theta what I'm looking here that sine 50 plus theta and sine 50 plus theta this I can cut easily that is why I was changing this cos into the sine so in the next step uh, here it's cos square 90 minus theta so here cos 90 minus theta will change into sine 50 because theta is working as this 50 okay so cos 90 minus 50 is equals to sine 50 but it is a square so let me put it square okay again cos square 90 minus 40 so it will be sine square 50 okay now again sine square 50 and this sine square 40 so now see here also sine square 50 sine square uh, it's 40 exactly cos square 40 it's 40 okay it's 40 uh, let me do with another color fine it's 40 okay it's 40 uh, cos square 90 minus theta because cos 90 minus theta is equals to sine theta so it is since theta is 40 degrees so it will be also 40 okay sine square 40 so now I can cut this whole expression uh, this whole because sine square 50 plus sine square 40 this whole will be cutted with this sine square 50 plus sine square 40 right and this will cut with this but this will come sine this one and one right but it will be zero right so now what I can do that this is equals to zero and this when I cut this 
it will be equals to 1 so 0 plus 1 is equals to 1 like this we have to solve this kinds of expressions okay using the complementary relationships okay in next video we'll be uh, doing a little bit difficult problem okay fine bye bye